Hey guys, Robin Nicole here. Um, I'm talking kind of softly because I want you guys to be able to hear everything going on in the background. Um, right now I am out at Congaree National Park and um, I'm out here because I wanted to talk to you guys about burnout but also rest and relaxation and the importance of it. I think burnout has been a very big topic on YouTube right now, um, especially with it being January. Um, a lot of people burn out in December with Vlogmas, and you guys know that I got kind of burned out. Um, I filmed every single day in October and November, and I burned out. I couldn't do it anymore. My video qualities were awful. Like, I hated going back and watching my own videos. And something I want to do for you guys is just put out better quality videos. Um, and I actually, I have been doing a lot of filming. And I know that this is probably going to be the first video I upload in a while. Um, so, I have continued to struggle with technology issues, which is why it has been so long since I last got a video up for you guys. I am very sorry about that. Um, that is something I'm working on. So airplanes. Okay, that's better. Hopefully you can hear me better now. Those airplanes are pretty loud. Um, but yeah, so I got burned out. Um, it is hard when you are doing the same thing like day after day after day to continue to produce like high quality work um, no matter what kind of work you're doing no matter how much you love it like you will burn out um, I have the same problem in you know in my day job I am a first responder and I get burnt out I mean I get burnt out after one shift I go home at the end of the day and I'm just physically, mentally exhausted. I am just done. And um, so it's really important for us to um, take some time to just take a break away from whatever it is in our lives that is causing us burnout, whether it is our job or a hobby. Um, this is a hobby that I do. Um, I started vlogging um, if you guys have not watched me the whole time, um, I started vlogging when I moved from the Seattle area back to the Columbia, South Carolina area as a way for friends and family to kind of keep in touch with me. Um, and since I've started this channel, it has opened up my eyes to so much. And the fact that like people actually do this for a job, like social media influencers, um, I think that's really cool. Like if I could one day get to that point, that'd be really awesome. Um, but that is not my goal in this. Like, I am just doing this for a hobby. I just do this for fun. And so, like, even with hobbies, like, you can get burnt out. Um, and so that is why um, I've taken such a long break. But I want to talk to you guys not just about burnout, but also about rest and relaxation and how to recover from burnout when that happens. Um, so one good thing is what I'm doing right now, getting outside, getting outdoors, um, doing something out of your regular routine, something you don't do every day. Um, sometimes all it takes is getting out of our routine and doing something different, going somewhere different um, to kind of break the cycles that we get in. Um, so getting outdoors is a great way. Also, of course, spending time with friends, with family, with your favorite pet, you know, um, those are all really good ways for people to decompress if you are an extrovert. If you are an introvert, um, you might be better, you know, reading a book, um, browsing your local library, see what new books they have there. Um, or maybe you just need some quiet time alone, um, maybe just listening to some music, or maybe cleaning helps you relax. For some people, it's very stressful. For other people, that can be very relaxing. And even if you hate cleaning, just having a clean space can really help to clear your mind. Um, and so, yeah, like, figure out what works for you. You know, there's no one thing that works for everyone. Um, maybe for you, maybe a way to relax. Maybe you just need to take some time to meditate. Um, I recently 
uploaded the Headspace app. Um, this is not sponsored at all, but I recently um, downloaded the Headspace app, and it has been, like, immensely helpful um, for me. Um, even just to take a couple minutes out of my day, you know, whether that's three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, sometimes I have time for 20 or 30 minutes, um, but just to take the time to, you know, take the time to figure out what's going on with you, you know, take time to breathe, take time to scan your body and find out where areas of tension are and not trying to change those things, but just realizing that they're there. Sometimes we get so busy in our lives that we don't even realize what's going on in our own bodies, in our own minds. Um, another great thing that um, I think everyone should try at least once in their life is going to a counselor or a therapist. Talk therapy um, can be really helpful. Again, sometimes we don't always even realize what's going on in our own minds, and we don't always understand why we do the things we do or why we do them the way they do, and sometimes all it takes is talking it through with someone. Um, and so that can be immensely helpful. Um, maybe for you, all you need to rest and relax, maybe you need a spa day, maybe you need a mani-pedi and a facial, and maybe spend some time in a nice hot tub or sauna, whatever you call it. Um, maybe that's restful for you, but um, I just want you guys to think about what's restful for you. Maybe it's journaling. Um, and again, whether you're an extrovert or an introvert, is it something you need to do on your own, or is it something you need to do with others? Maybe you need to take a day get together with some friends and go to the beach or go to the mountains, um, go on a little camping trip. Um, it doesn't have to be long. It can be a weekend. You know, you just have to take some time for yourself is what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, I have been burned out, but I, I have taken some time, more time than I had anticipated. Um, but now I am back. I am filming. I'm going to get this uploaded for you guys. And like I said, I've actually been doing a lot of filming, but haven't been able to upload for um, some technical issue reasons that I've been having, which I am still working on getting resolved. But I love you all so much, and I hope you all are doing well. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know um, what causes you to burn out and what you do to kind of, what is your remedy for that? Um, what helps you? Um, please just leave a comment so other people can go and check that out and maybe it'll spark an idea for someone else that will really help them and change their life. Um, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love if you hit that subscribe button and then there's going to be a little bell that pops up. Hit that bell and that's going to help you to adjust your notification settings. Make sure you have them set so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I will see you again soon. I don't have a new uploading schedule quite figured out yet, um, just because I have been dealing with so many technical issues, um, but I am going to try to get on a regular schedule again. I know for a while I was posting every week. Um, I'm hoping to maybe get back to that or at least every other week, um, but stay tuned. Make sure you are subscribed and you have your notifications turned on. So. You can get more updates from me, and I will see you all later. Bye.